Hello, welcome to Your Simple Golf Swing. I'm Matt. In this video, I want to talk about the right arm position in the back swing. Specifically, I want to talk about what Mike Dunaway called the trombone effect. Now, this video is coming as a request from one of my longtime viewers. He was really my very first online course purchaser, David James, up in Ontario. I consider him a dear friend and he comments on all my videos. Anyways, David asked me, Matt, could you do a video that, that shows a little bit more about what the trail arm is doing, what the trail elbow is doing in the backswing? I asked him, what specifically are you looking for? And he mentioned the trombone effect. Again, that comes from a video that Mike Dunaway did with Mike Austin. So when we play a trombone, we keep our trombone players keep their left elbow against their body and they move the slide up and down like this to hit their different notes. My oldest brother played a trombone and he explained that all to me when I was a little kid. So anyways, how do we incorporate that into the golf swing? Well, Mike Dunaway, he kept this elbow tucked very close to his body. And when he came up, he didn't really get separation a whole lot from his body until his hands got almost up to the, the height of his shoulder. And then if you look at videos real closely, it's more of a slide back away when he gets into his backswing and slides back behind him and then comes back through the ball. And the trombone effect is really kind of going off to the side, not so much out in front in, in like this. So how do we incorporate, incorporate that into our golf swing? What we want to do is again, keep this right elbow tucked against the body as long as you can in the backswing until you get to, your hands start getting close to the same height as your right shoulder. And then you let it get a little separation. This is going to help you when you turn back through the ball. It helps with a couple of things. It helps keep you on a perfect plane, the same plane that you had at a, at a dress. But it also, if you practice this move, you'll see that it's also going to help you in that move that I talk about where we leave our hands at the, at the top and we swing through and then we let our arms come through down at the bottom at the last minute rather than leading with our arms. So what we want to do, I'll show you from this view here first, keep this elbow tucked against the body, go into your back swing and then let it just come off a little bit. Now that's going to be contrary to what some other instructors talk about. They talk about getting this big wide separation, okay? And you can do that more on probably a two plane swing rather than a swing, a single plane swing. But you'll find that if you keep that tucked, you're going to be able to get more of that Hogan effect too when you come through. So you want to keep that tucked and you'll just turn right through and really smash the ball. And it comes out very straight when you do that, especially when you incorporate the proper hand movement. Some of the things that you want to guard against when you do this is you want to guard against letting that elbow come up like this. That's a big no-no. And sometimes that plagues me, especially with my driver. So I try to work very hard on keeping that elbow tucked as long as I can. What you're going to do is as you go back, you're going to see the forearms are going to roll naturally. You're not trying to do a roll, but since we're keeping that tucked, that's going to roll those forearms nice and natural like. They're going to roll over each other and then you can just swing right through. I hope you can really see the snap that I get off the ball when I do that. This way, keeping it tucked will keep you on a nice plane and it'll help you come down into that ball nice and strong. So work on that. Think about keeping the elbow tucked as long as you can. Just keep it tucked as you go into your backswing. Do your weight shift and just keep it tucked. David, I hope that answers your question. Uh, leave a note in the comment on whether or not that helped or if you need a little bit more clarity. But that's the trombone effect that Mike Dunaway talked about. I hope this helped you. If you like the video, please hit the like button. It'll send it out to more people. Also, if you're enjoying my content, I'd really appreciate it if you would subscribe. I just recently went over 2,000 subscribers and I thank all of you guys for subscribing. If you're interested in my full online course where you can learn the entire Mike Austin, Mike Dunaway swing, please check the link down in the description. 
Thanks so much. Have a great day.